uh, good afternoon i am dr manisha sahai i am professor and head of department nephrology at usmania general hospital hyderabad i am as i said i am a kidney specialist and i want to give a message for all people with diabetes in india diabetes as we all know is very very common but remember even the kidney diseases have become very common especially in a diabetic patient about 40% of patients with diabetes develop kidney diseases unfortunately in our country general public is not aware of kidney diseases until they come with kidney failure and then they need costly treatment like dialysis or a kidney transplant kidney diseases in diabetes can be prevented if we know about them all diabetics should get their kidneys tested at least once in a year that is the guideline international guideline that at least one urine test and one blood test should be done for all diabetic patients at least once in a year they are simple tests and if you are diagnosed with a kidney problem you can be treated if the kidney problem is diagnosed early then only treatment is possible if you do not detect the problem early then your kidneys fail and then you need dialysis or kidney transplant now you will ask me how can we prevent kidney problem if we are diabetic patients so there are some important rules first thing is a healthy diet and a healthy lifestyle you must have heard about diet and lifestyle from lot of people but what i would want to say is in india we consume a lot of salt which gives rise to kidney problems an average indian takes around 10 g of salt per day which is equal to 2 teaspoons per day we should all take just 1 teaspoon ek chamach namak per day this we have to follow very strictly especially in diabetes patients some people consume lona salt rock salt but remember any salt you take you have to limit your intake to 1 teaspoon per day only the second important thing is about oil in indian families we take a lot of oil average indian family of maybe 5 or 6 members consumes around 15 liters of oil one tin of oil per month this is wrong the rule is each person should take about half liter oil per month so if you have 6 members in your family you should take just 3 liters of oil in a month half liter per person per month the quality of oil is important also you can take sunflower oil you can take rice bran oil which are good you can take some quantity of mustard oil also so the dictum is that use a combination of oils you can use sunflower oil for 15 days you can use rice bran oil for 10 days you can use mustard oil for some period of time so combination is good so this is the second important message the third important message is control carbohydrates whatever is white in color is bad for the kidney meaning cut down on white rice switch to brown rice cut down on white bread switch to brown bread cut down on sugar you can move to jaggery gud molasses which is better apart from that maintain an ideal lifestyle all of us should make it a habit of walking at least 45 minutes per day or minimum at least half an hour per day or 10000 steps per day we should do exercise regularly as we do puja and once we get it in our lifestyle it would be easy to do so these are some important things which i want public to understand apart from that in our country we use a lot of painkillers without asking the doctor we go to the medicine shop and get painkillers in west it is not possible to get painkillers without a prescription remember painkillers are an important cause of kidney failure in our country and hence we should avoid the use of painkillers we should also develop a habit of drinking at least 1 to 1 and a half liter water per day if we have normal kidneys and if we are diabetics so roughly around 1 and a half to 2 liters also would be good so these are some five basic rules apart from that say no to smoking no to alcohol sleep on time watch less of 
TV, spend more time outside exercising. So if we follow these simple basic rules, we can avoid the kidney diseases to a large extent. Apart from that, maintain your blood sugar in control. Fasting sugar 100, post-lunch sugar 140 should be the goal. Maintain your blood pressure under control. Once the doctor starts BP medications for you, you have to take them lifelong. Most of the patients in India, once the blood pressure becomes normal, stop the medicine. This is absolutely wrong. You should continue to take BP medicines for life or till your doctor tells you not to take them. So I think with these few messages, you can go a long way to avoiding kidney diseases. If you develop kidney disease, options are available in India. You can go for dialysis, you can do, go for kidney transplant. It's very well available. But remember, average Indian income per month is 2000 Transplant costs around 7 lakhs. And dialysis costs you around 30,000 rupees per month. It is beyond the reach of common man. And all these are painful procedures. So, prevention is better than cure. And as I said... Diabetes you may not be able to prevent completely but at least if you are a diabetic and you undergo regular kidney tests you can save your kidneys. So thank you.